Stephen Strange. The Illuminati will see you now. We will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. Marvel Studios Doctor Strange. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and we have what looks to be the most exciting and most revealing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness clip yet. This clip right here shows us and tells us through the narrative a lot. We get our very first look at Professor X's chair, our very first look at Captain Carter fighting the Scarlet Witch, and the suit that Professor Xavier is going to be wearing, which looks to be pretty dang identical to the X-Men 97 animated series. And since Captain Carter was in Marvel's animated series What If, it makes you wonder if these characters are indeed going to be from animated universes. We'll break everything down, including some things that Professor X says in this video, so if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU videos. Now for a small 15 second clip, they actually revealed so much in this scene. Now it starts off by Doctor Strange being put into handcuffs. Some very, very high tech handcuffs with the Ultron bots behind him. We hear a voice saying Stephen Strange, which is very clearly the voice of Patrick Stewart, which means it is the voice of Professor Xavier. The Ultron bots escort Doctor Strange into the chamber of the Illuminati, their council room where they judge people, and the Ultron bots actually shove him in. We see Master Mordo there as well, also backed up by some Ultron bots, and he says the Illuminati will see you now. So this is definitely the judgment room of the Illuminati. We we know that by now, we've seen all of the chairs lined up at the top of it. Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter just a little bit on how all the judges sit on top and they have this part on the bottom where the accused are judged. Now back to this whole entire scene in just a bit because it's a lot to break down, but first let's talk about this very brief new Scarlet Witch scene. We're unsure of where she is, but it looks like she has a bunch of demons or souls trying to attach to her and what she just simply throws them away. Now she's in her full Scarlet Witch outfit and I think that this is a full sign of her true power. This is clearly some very, very dark magic that is happening to her, but she simply just brushes it off like it's nothing. She has at least seven of these beings trying to attach themselves to her, and they do, but she just blows them away. And this is important to know because it leads us into this next scene in this trailer, which is the Illuminati actually fighting the Scarlet Witch. So going back to the Illuminati, we actually hear when Doctor Strange enters the chamber, Professor X say, we will see what kind of Doctor Strange you are. Are. Now, these words actually mean a lot, but let's talk about how epic it is to actually see Professor Xavier's chair here. It is a yellowish gold hover chair, just like from the X-Men animated series. And if you actually take a look at his sleeve and some of his suit that's in the frame, it's green, just like he was. This really does appear to be the same Professor Xavier from the animated series. Now, it doesn't mean that he is. Right now, Marvel Studios has done an excellent job of giving us scenes in movies and and in the Disney Plus shows that are extremely comic accurate. And although the X-Men animated series isn't a comic, it is something that had a big impact on Marvel fans. And this is extremely accurate to the Professor Xavier from that animated series, so this could simply be a no to him, Marvel Studios continuing their comic accurate slash animated series accurate scenes, or it actually could be him, which will be very, very interesting, but it wouldn't take us as that big of a surprise as we do see Captain Peggy Carter in this TV spot as well. And this this kind of really blows my mind. I can't believe that they showed us this. Yes, they have teased Professor Xavier before, but they had to give us something as far as cameos, but I thought they would stop there. Plus, they teased Professor X's chair in this one, but no, we get a look at Captain Carter, and although we don't see her face, we very, very clearly see her shield. Now, what's interesting about this scene is that she is going up against the Scarlet Witch, and though I do love Captain Carter, I think she's an amazing character, and I love Haley Atwell and can't wait to see her live action. Action, I don't think she's any match for the Scarlet Witch. Even if she is actually upgraded, if you notice, on her back is a jetpack. She actually uses this to stabilize herself as the Scarlet Witch pushes her back. 
And this is very, very cool, and it definitely gives her an advantage over no jetpack, but still. The Scarlet Witch is now the most powerful being probably in the entire multiverse. And Captain Carter is great, but she essentially just has Super Soldier Serum and now a jetpack. Which leads me to believe, based off of all of the destruction that we've seen in the other trailers and TV spots, that unfortunately, she'll probably die. Because again, I just think she stands no chance against the Scarlet Witch. And we'll get back to her tech in just a second, because I do think this is probably Stark tech but in this TV spot, we get our most clear look at who we now know is Maria Rambeau as Captain Marvel. This look of her right here is the most clear look that we've gotten, and there's no mistake now, this is not Superior Iron Man, unfortunately, but it is Maria Rambeau as a variant of Captain Marvel. Now, clearly, whatever universe that she came from, she's Captain Marvel, and this is pretty easy to explain, as her and Carol Danvers were both pilots, and all you have to do is swap the stories for Carol and Maria. It's as simple as that. Instead of Carol crashing her plane and coming in contact with the Tesseract, it's actually Maria who does that. How does she become involved with the Illuminati though? That is what I want to know. I want to know how the Illuminati were formed and I hope they tell us that in Doctor Strange. Now in this scene, she is clearly going up to fight against the Scarlet Witch as well. But here's what is kind of interesting. You can see in the background of Maria Rambeau's scene and in the background of Captain Carter's scene that the Scarlet Witch and them fighting is not actually happening in the Judgment Chambers. It's kind of happening in like the main room of the Illuminati's headquarters, that big open room with a glass top. The glass top is a giveaway, plus all of the statues that we've seen in that room as well. We see the glass top and the statues in the scene with Maria Rambeau's Captain Marvel and when the Scarlet Witch fights Peggy Carter. So both of these people are going to be fighting the Scarlet Witch. I hope it's at once because if it's one-on-one, -on -one, they're not going to stand any chance at all. But perhaps they might stand somewhat of a fight if it's 2v1. Now since this fight is taking place kind of in that main room, I'm wondering if this attack happens as Doctor Strange is being judged because remember, we've seen a scene where Mordo attacks Doctor Strange, where Doctor Strange is still in handcuffs, and in fact, he uses those handcuffs to block a sword attack from Mordo. I'm assuming that at first, the Illuminati probably doesn't know that Doctor Strange and Wanda are really at odds right now. They're probably going to think they're working together. So if the Scarlet Witch starts attacking, which I'm pretty sure is going to happen because she's just going to walk in like she owns the place, in which the Illuminati will tell her to stop, and she's not going to, which will therefore cause an attack. If this happens while Doctor Strange is in the chamber, they're going to think that this is all a part of some plan and Doctor Strange is about to attack as well, which is where I believe we are going to get that scene where Mordo attacks Doctor Strange. Now, ultimately, I think we all know this is going to lead up between a battle between the Scarlet Witch and the entire Illuminati, including Professor Xavier. And rumors have kind of gone wild for Multiverse of Madness, but I think we're all kind of predicting that Professor Xavier is going to go up against the Scarlet Witch and probably won't make it. In fact, if I had to guess, probably none of the members of the Illuminati are going to make it out alive. As sad as that is, because I'm pretty sure some epic characters are going to be introduced. But that makes you wonder if it's going to be on Doctor Strange after this to form a new Illuminati, or if there simply won't be an Illuminati anymore. Now to finish, I want to go back to that jetpack on the back of Captain Carter. I believe that this is probably Stark Tech. Now, there have been rumors going around that Superior Iron Man or any type of Iron Man might not be in the movie. But even if he's not, we have the Ultron bots, which clearly come from Tony Stark. So even if we don't see him, I still imagine that he played a role in some part helping the Illuminati, giving them the Ultron bots and perhaps giving them some gear to help them monitor and protect the universe. One of those would probably be a jetpack for Captain Carter. Plus, not to mention, in the animated What If storyline, Captain Carter was good friends with Howard Stark. And in her universe, we don't really know what happened with Howard or Tony. Perhaps Howard was never assassinated. Perhaps he lived. And perhaps he was the Tony Stark of his time, since he never died. And he made some equipment for Captain Carter to help her out. I think that would be pretty dang cool. But this whole 15 second TV spot was amazing. I can't believe they put all of that in just one quick little clip, but it makes me even more excited for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And let me know how excited you are for the movie and all of the cameos in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for live updates. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.